Welcome back to our workshop series. Over time, these holders can get damaged or wear out. Here, I'm going to show you a few simple steps of how you can repair your stick welding electrode holder. First of all, make sure your welding machine is switched off and unplugged. These are the materials that we're going to need, a copper sheet, pliers, and a hex key, among other tools that you're going to see. First, we need to disassemble the holder. Using your screwdriver, loosen that screw and place it safely so that we can use it at the end. And then once that is done, you're going to see where your cable came apart. So we're going to go ahead and loosen the screws that hold the cable inside that front part. And then we are going to remove all the contents that are inside to give way for us to put the new cable in. Go ahead and measure the part that you're going to expose. So we're going to cut away that insulating cable so that we have a contact, a clear contact to the copper. Remember the cable is copper and also the, the front of the gun, the front of the holder is copper. So go ahead and compact those cable wires together. Then we're going to use a copper sheet that we're going to wrap around that exposed copper cable. Remember this is to make it durable and also to make it possible for the screws to hold on to the cable. There's something else that I realized while I was editing this video that I should have cut that copper sheet longer for it to be more durable. There is no problem in doing it as shown in the video, but if you can cut it a little bit longer so that it also covers the insulating tape, the insulating part of the cable, then that will make it more durable and it will not cut as easily as it did. After you've done wrapping it around, you're going to compact it round the cable as shown in the video and then you're going to go ahead and cut off any excess piece of copper that is at the front of the, the cable compact further the tip so that it enters that front part. Remember to loosen the screws completely so that we have enough space for the cable. And then what remains now is to tighten those screws. But before you do that, notice the handle is not there. So push the cable through the handle out of this other side and into that part and then tighten those hex screws back into place. And then we're going to fasten the handle and that's it. And that's how you repair the holder, the electrode holder. But before I um, finish this video, this is an extra tip. Since we are working on the holder, we are going to um, repair the, the tip that holds the electrode. So sometimes after you've used it for a long time, you, you notice there is some residue and dirt that collects at the tip. Using your handheld wire brush, just brush away that part 
to expose the copper, to clean that copper part, so that the next time that you're welding, it has a clear contact and you have a better welding experience. Replace the covers. And then now what is left is for you to test your holder, whether it's working optimally. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. And now I'm sure you've learned how you can repair your electrode holder instead of just going and buying a new one. Thank you for your support. Remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed and share this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.